Are you ready? It's sing-along time. These are the books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible. To write them, it took a while. These are the books of the Bible. There's 66, and here's the list. We got Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, and Judges. Ruth is truth and full of good things, like First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings. Chronicles, Volumes 1 and 2, tells the tale of who was who. These are the books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible. To write them, it took a while. These are the books of the Bible. There's 66, and here's the list. We got Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, or Gaia, Psalms and Proverbs, Wiser, Ecclesiastes, Asks, or Wire, Song of Songs, oh my, Isaiah and Jeremiah. These are the books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible. To write them, it took a while. These are the books of the Bible. There's 66, and here's the list. Lamentations and Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, and Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk. Now the Old Testament's almost up with Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, 39 books just passed us by. These are the books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible. To write them, it took a while. These are the books of the Bible. There's 66, and here's the list. 400 years passes by, people make it through. And then a baby boy is born to turn the old into new. We got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts, and then comes Romans. First and second Corinthians, Galatians, and Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians, too. Thessalonians, um, enter. These are the books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible. To write them, it took a while. These are the books of the Bible. There's 66, and here's the list. We got 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, who is not Timothy. Philemon's about a page of one. Hebrews, James, we're almost done. 1st and 2nd Peter, 1, 2, 3, John, Jude, and Revelation. That's it. These are the books of the Bible. These are the books of the Bible. To write them, it took a while. These are the books of the Bible. There's 66, and that was the list. Oh, there's 66, and that was the list. There's 66, and that was the list. Hope you enjoyed it. Get to know it real well. Read them all. Books of the Bible. Books of the Bible. Books of the Bible. Books of the Bible. Hello, friends. My name is Duan, and I'm so excited that you're here with us today. Did you enjoy the sing along as much as I did? Books of the Bible, books of the Bible. Okay, now that we've done all that singing and dancing, let's take a deep breath, get comfy, and we're gonna learn about Jesus, we're gonna learn about God's promises, and we're gonna have some fun, okay? Now, talking about promises, do you know what the big idea is for today? The big idea for today is God keeps his promises. And talking about promises, I thought Ava said she'd be here today. Ava? Ava? Here I am. Hi. I promised I'd be here, yeah. so here I am. 
Okay, Ava, you came just in time to help me show our friends something. Sure, what can I do? All right, so when we think of God's promises in the Bible, there's one symbol that we think of often. And today we're gonna talk about it in our story. That sounds interesting. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you to have a seat. Okay. And I'm gonna draw that symbol, and I would like for you and our friends to guess what that symbol is. Sounds fun. Okay? All right, let's do it. Okay. Uh, line. Uh, uh, candy cane. No, it, it's a door. A door, um, shepherd's hook. Uh, no, it can't no. be that. Okay, let me add some color. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, it's uh, a red string. Nope. Yeah, oh, um. I know this is bad coloring, <laughs> but I think you're gonna get it. Okay, um, is it a house? No! Then why would it be a house? No! Ooh, is it a snail? Nope. Oh my goodness. Um, I need your help, guys. <laughs> uh, how about a dog? Uh, okay, let me do. Let me do this. Let me do this. Um, come on, Ava, you can get it. Uh, I know this is terrible, <laughs> but you can get it. Come on. Is it a cat? No. A Ava. dog. Ava. <laughs> <laughs> come on, guys. I need your help. What is it? Okay, we're gonna do Ooh. green too. Look at all the colors. Red. Green, actually, if I had yellow, that would work. Red, yellow, pink and green, purple, orange, blue. You guys are right, it's a rainbow. How yes. did I not get that? <laughs> yes, it's a rainbow. <laughs> Story time. Hi friends, my name's Christian, and today I'm going to read you a story from the Tiny Truths Illustrated Bible. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Many years after Adam and Eve, there lived a man named Noah. Noah was God's friend. Noah remembered that he was one of God's children, but lots of people had forgotten that they were God's children too, because they didn't remember what God had made them for. They were hurting each other, hurting themselves, and hurting God. This wasn't God's plan for his children, God doesn't like sadness or hate or hurting. Something had to be done, and God wanted Noah to help him. Noah, I need you to build an ark, said God. An ark is an enormous boat. An ark? asked Noah. But there's no water around here. There will be soon, said God. I'm going to send a flood to wash away everything that is bad in this world. So, right there, in the middle of the desert, far from any water, Noah began to build a boat. It seemed crazy, but Noah trusted God. When the ark was ready, God told Noah to fill it with animals, two of every kind he could find. When the animals and Noah's family had all squeezed inside, God closed the door. Everyone waited and waited. And then it started to rain and rain and rain. Now Noah was glad that he listened to God it rained until the whole land was covered. As far as the eye could see, there was nothing but water. But Noah and everyone inside his boat was safe. Forty days and nights went by, and then one day it stopped. Little by little, the water went down. Slowly, dry land reappeared. Finally, Noah's ark came to rest on top of a mountain. The huge doors opened, and Noah's family and all the animals stepped out into fresh air. Up above them, a rainbow stretched across the sky, a sign of God's promise that he would never 
do this again. And when God makes a promise, he always keeps it. Wow, wasn't that an amazing story? Well, I think it's time for you to go off to activity time. Have fun. Activity time. What a great story about God's promises. And that brings us back to our big idea this week. God keeps his promises. Can you say that after me? God keeps his promises. Great job. All right, so now we're gonna learn the actions for that. But today, we're gonna use a special language called the American Sign Language, or ASL. Are you ready to learn it with me? Okay, so the first sign is God. So we're gonna put our hands like this. We're gonna bring it in front of us and bring it down, okay? So this is God. Do that with me. God, great job. Now, keeps. We're gonna do two bunny ears and bring our hands together, okay? So, bunny ears, keeps, keeps. Perfect. Now we're gonna do his. So you're just gonna push your hand in front of you, okay? You ready? His, perfect. Now promises. You're gonna take your finger and put it to your mouth, and then you're gonna bring it to a high five and hit your fist, okay? Do it with me, all right? Promises. Perfect. Okay, let's do it together real slow. God keeps his promises. Awesome. Let's do it one more time, okay? God keeps his promises. Awesome job. See, that was hard to do and you did an awesome job. Now you've learned something new and you know it in a new language. All right, Ava and Paige are here. So let's see what they have for us. Keyverse. Hi. Hi friends. Are you guys ready to learn the key verse with us? Why don't you get up and say it with us? It goes like this. God has made a great many promises. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. Now, let's put some movement to it. Ava, if you explain what to do, I'll show our friends the actions. Sounds good. When we say God, you're gonna reach up and put your hands towards the sky. Then when we say has made, you're gonna squat down and slap the ground once. When we say a great, you're gonna give us a big thumbs up. And when we say many, put all of your fingers up. And then promises, clasp your hands together, and 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, open your hands like a Bible. Are you guys ready to do it with us? Let's go. God has made a great many promises. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. Great job. Now let's swap. I'll say the verse and you do the actions. Let's do it. Ready? God has made a great Many promises. 2 Corinthians 1, verse 20. That was so good. And maybe you guys can show some of the grown-ups in your house how to do it too. See you later. See ya. Prayer time. Thank you, Ava and Paige, for such a fun way to learn our key verse. It's almost time for us to say goodbye. But before we do, may I pray with you? There are so many different ways that we can pray. How about today we fold our legs up like this and we put our arms around our legs and hug them really close. You got it? Okay, let's close our eyes and speak to God. Dear God, thank you so much for the beautiful promises that you made to your people through the Bible. And we thank you so much that your promises are yes and amen because of Jesus. Thank you for your promise of Jesus coming to the earth and your promise for you to return someday to be with us soon. Your promises are good. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It was so fun to be with you today, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.